You okay there, Dark? That wave on anchor, it's a, it's a dangerous thing. We've gone to our backup engine, which is the Kiranatsu. I am challenging four sheets to the wind to just take one hour and collect as much garbage as you can. Fukasa? See? What do you think, Sandra? I love it! This is unreal. This is absolute paradise. Woken up in paradise this morning, haven't we, Isabel? We have. We had a good relaxing day yesterday after our very short sail, but it was a taxing sail. Um, and we have arrived in the Sandblast Islands uh, and they're connected to Panama. This place is unreal. Like, I feel like we are already through the canal and on the Pacific side. It's just so incredibly beautiful. It's just a sandbank and just palm trees. Mm. And we are one of four boats here and yeah, we're in paradise. There's no hotels, there's no shopping malls, there's no cafes, restaurants. It's really hard to actually get an internet connection. So this is very unique to us. When we went to one of the islands yesterday, the pile of plastic that had piled up on the shore. Um, it's basically sea rubbish. Yeah. It's not the locals, it's just no. rubbish that is washed up from the currents and the wind that blow in here. But it's, the amount of it, it's so much and it just breaks my heart. So today, we decided to go and collect some. Or a lot, let's see. Let's see how much we can collect, but. We're gonna fill up a few trash bags full. Yeah. Um, obviously there's no disposal place here on the islands. Mm. So we're going to take it back to our boat and yeah. dispose of it um, properly what when we get back to mainland. Yeah, yeah. It just feels like the least of the things we can do. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And we're going to buy some coconut bread from the locals. Mm. Join us. We'll Come along. Like some rubbish on this beautiful, beautiful island. Yeah, we're going to try restore paradise back to paradise. <laughs> Yesterday we met a new friend, right? What was his name? Rodrigo. We met Rodrigo. He's from Brazil. He's here with his Italian wife since... One year. One year? Yeah, he's been in the Sandlots for a year. And he came over and he brought this to me. He made this fruit bowl. Made from local vegetation. <laughs> you sound like you're, you're selling a year on ad. This is the local vegetation made bowl. If you want one, Get look it. up Rodrigo. Rodrigo in the Sandblast Islands. He's gonna be here for a while. He's I on think. a Beneteau. He's on a Beneteau. That's all we can give you. <laughs> oh, anyway, it's beautiful and I love it. Alright, let's pick up some trash, babe. guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the little bell to keep up with everything that we're doing in Cartagena our 2 Hatsu 9.8 outboard engine decided to stop working so now we've gone to our backup engine which is the Kiranatsu Kiranatsu 100 horsepower should I say one Kiran power Oh, complete utter speed. Oh, look at it. Oh shit. Don't hit Mary with it. We're, we're going a little bit out of control here with so much power. 
<laughs> so much bullshit. <laughs> what? What? Parents, it might be from like Colombia or. Mm. Okay, so I think I speak for Isabel and myself um, with this rubbish collecting thing. We don't like to push our views on other people. We don't, we're not some hippie activists, but we do. I mean, when we come to a beautiful place like this and we see just rubbish all along the beach and it's not from the local people. They have no way of producing this rubbish. It's from the ocean. It just comes straight from the currents and the wind and it gets pushed straight in here. So I guess what I'm trying to say is we just, we just couldn't stand spending our morning, you know, drinking coffee and going surfing. We just wanted to do something for the community first. And so we've just gone, and I'm going to give, it, I'm going to give you a count right now of how many bags we have. But we've just gone through about 50 metres of beach, and we've got about probably 10 bags plus of rubbish. I'll count them for you right now. One, two, three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Isabel just filled up her eleventh bag. It's a good way. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, need another one. Need another one. Just one hour, I think, and then we we can. It's just like, where do you stop? Because you can continue for like days and days and days and days. You gotta, just... you gotta take care of yourself. <sighs> I know, but it's just horrible. Yeah. Isabel's getting passionate on this uh, Tuesday morning. I like it. Okay. Well, what do you got? It looks like a heart. You were meant to find that, I think. Maybe it's a seed of some sort. A heart seed? Maybe it will grow into a hot tree. Oh, there's something inside. It's diamonds. Diamonds, eh? <laughs> this is how diamonds grow. <laughs> and the next problem that we face is there's nowhere here on the island to discard this rubbish. So we have to take it with us on our boat. So we have to find place for 11 bags plus of rubbish on Meriwether, which is not easy. Uh, we just got a surfboard, a SUP, a so many rooms are full of stuff, so hopefully I can find some place for this rubbish until we get to the mainland. How long have we been at it? An hour? One hour. An hour. 
one hour and we collected, what was it, 14? I thought it was 11. 14 garbage bags full of trash on 50 meters for two people. I have a challenge. So there is heaps and heaps and heaps of sailing channels. What if we spend an hour just collecting the garbage on a beach that we're at? I am challenging four sheets to the wind to just take one hour and collect as much garbage as you can. Um, I don't know. It's not going to save the world, but it's going to do a little bit. You will see a link to Four Sheets to the Wind right here. And Missy and Kyle, the task has been set. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we're not saints. Our boat is made of plastic. Our boat is made of plastic. <laughs> um, but we can do, we could, we could do a little bit. The Sandblast Islands of Panama is an archipelago of 365 islands. 49 of these islands are inhabited by the native Kuna population. We found that each island we visited had a different family living mainly off the land and the sea. Okay, so now we have had a swim. We have got a few dollars. We're going to go see the local Kunas. Apparently they make a tasty coconut bread. Oh, how good! Ooh, ooh. See the local cuisine. Hello! Limpiando! Limpiando, cambiando. Coconut bread? Si, si. Si? Si? Si. Just go this way? Si, yo solo. Mi hijo está buscando coco. Yo aquí cuarto. Okay, so we go here? Si, si. Si. Yo limpiando, también de limpiando. So you're growing? Coco? Coco? Yes. Si. Ah, beautiful. Mi papá murió. Ah, sí. Si. Este papá murió. Yo tiene cuatro hijos. Yo tiene una de dos niñas. So, si. four years? Sí, si. si. dos niñas. Okay. Mi, mi hija se va, mi hermana se va para el mamparco. De yate, se va a yate. Okay. Casa? Sí, sí. Casa, sí. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, yes. No hay bolsa. It's okay. I'll just take it like this. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Gracias. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they do uh, necklaces and stuff, I mean. Ah, I see. No, eso. Look at my new uh, Beautiful. anklet. Hmm? You want to try a coconut bread? Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. That's pretty good. Ghosts in the face. Yep. Great input in the bill. <laughs> yep. Today we are going on a little exploring day. Mm. Where are we going? We are taking the tender, we're picking up our friends mm -hmm. and taking a few toys like a drone and a camera Some and swimming, a frisbee. Swimming gear. Swimming gear. And we are heading to one of the other islands. There's a little island that we saw on the drone clips um, and we're going to go try and find it and see if we can get onto it. Mm. It looks pretty small, pretty deserted, yeah. bit of us. Yeah, um, a little play date. This place, enjoy, this yeah. place is damn amazing. Mm. So, come, come with us, come check it out. In absence of our engine, uh, we have now borrowed Magnus's 15 horsepower Mercury. It's quite nice. With us four, I think we're going a little bit slow. But that's okay, we'll get there nonetheless. You okay there, Don? There's a 
wind. It's uh, that wave, that wave on anchor. It's a, it's a dangerous thing. Did you want to fall in the water? Because <laughs> I can make that happen. Ready, this Captain? is the uh, Ralph Express, ready to take you to Island Paradise. Please keep your arms and legs inside the ride at all times. Here we go. So, are you ready? You're going to bring a uh, snorkeling gear? Yeah. 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 Unreal. This is absolute paradise. There are one sailboat over here and then well four in total including us on the other side um, and it's just mind-blowing seriously. Um, I hope the camera can do it justice which is wow. <laughs> Did not think that places like this still existed. Apparently they charge three US dollars to visit this island. Uh, they're the locals that live here um, that charge that. They take care of the islands. They pick up trash and, and all that. Um, take care of the vegetation. And we forgot our wallet. So we can't really go to this island. We're just gonna anchor the boat and just go for a snorkel off their island and not even bother with the yeah. whole staying on the beach. Our, our island is perfect, so yeah, I we saw this. Mm. We're gonna try spear. We're gonna try spear them a fish, and uh, that'll be our payment. A bit of dinner, <laughs> okay. I think. Okay. If we get more than two, if we only get one, well then that's our dinner. <laughs> but if we get two, well, one for them. Okay. 